and this should be my last herbivore hunted to get 83 hunter. I'm finally done with this grind. It didn't take too long from 80. It, I got 325 harvest count, and this is all that I collected all the herbs, and this is a price check of what I all got. So from 80 to 83 hunter, I got 900k worth of herbs. If I look, I got 123 aventos, which will be good for super energies in the future. I only got 12 renars, but that's all. That's all right. Uh, yeah. I also got to 39 to 43 herbler off of just cleaning and harvesting the herbivores. But now that I'm done with 83 hunter, I can finally catch D imps. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna go out of my way to find them. If someone calls it out in the CC or I see one, I'll just, I'll just go and get it. So next on the to-do list is I'm gonna turn these herbs into as many potions as I can, and then I'm gonna start opening these eclectics and doing medium clues. So I literally just logged in after getting home from work, and there was a DM right next to me. I was bank standing, about to finish making my potions. And I just see it right there, so first Dragon Imp of the account. So I believe this is what I all got from Herbivores, if we take a look. About 1.1 mil, there's probably something extra in here. I'm going to decant all this stuff right now. 88 four dose energy potions, a bunch of super attacks, serums, herbs, attack potions, and these Renars I can turn into prayer potions once I start opening these, which I'm going to do right now. We got our first medium casket from the Eclectic Implings, just a Alcabal's runes and a unique that is useless. Unless there's a clue for it, which I doubt it. I just, I'm going. I'm going to do my clue, and there's another dragon in bling. Oh, oh my! So I got this step where I have to enter the barbarian agility arena, but I need to do the bar crawl before I can enter. So I guess I'll get that done quick. Just got a ninja in bling off, or I just got a ninja in bling while going for the bar crawl. So I just finished the bar crawl and I'm about to do the clue. I equipped the cape, the steel plate body, but I can't equip the bow. So I need to get 30 ranged. So either I'm going to drop this clue or do start Slayer now and get 30 ranged. So I'm just going to drop this clue. Uh... If I get it again, I'll, I'll just grind it out, but I don't really feel like doing 10, le 10, 10 range levels off of Slayer right now, so. And here's casket number two. Ooh, a Zamorak page. So that's pretty good for a second clue. Uh, green Dehyde, that'll be good for early range. And fire, uh, 73! And third casket. Oh, God. So I'm doing this clue where I have to go to someone in the soul altar, so I'm gonna unlock this, uh, this fairy ring while I'm here. Yeah, you say the good thousand coins. Decent. Got our fourth casket. Uh, Alcabal's money and trash. Scroll number five. Oh, Lovakenge Banner and an Adamant Full Helm T. Otherwise, it's all shit. So I just got another medium clue that requires a ranged requirement, and this time it's 40. So I'm just gonna, instead of dropping ranged clues from now on, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna start Slayer now and get 40 ranged, and then continue the clues. And there's the first Slayer task of the account done. It's probably the worst task I could have gotten to range on, but... I, oh well. It got me from 20 to 34 ranged and 9 to 20 Slayer. Time to move on to the next one. 
So I did my second Slayer task, which was 15 Cave Slimes, and at the very end I got a easy clue scroll, so... So I just got 40 ranged from the Slayer task, and doing fucking otherworldly beings or some shit. And you're not. I got up to 26 Slayer so far. Uh, I still have like 30 more to kill, but I can now do this master, or this medium. So I need a steel kite shield for the clue as well, so I'm just gonna make a few steel bars quick. Can't buy one from this NPC, so I'm just gonna get a quick smithing level to make one. I look a ninja and bling, I need a jar. Good my ninja and bling, ninja and bling. Casket number six. Oh, a unicorn mask. Oh, goody. Don't cling to a mistake just because you spent a lot of time making it. pickpocketing ham members for the ham storeroom minigame to get a ruby amulet for this medium clue because I don't didn't really feel like grinding out three crafting levels but after like 20 minutes I got just a bunch of sapphire and emerald stuff and no ruby stuff so I think I'll just get the crafting levels but I got a easy clue from them so Aw, oh, if that would have been a ruby amulet, it would have been so perfect. And that's 50 crafting, time to make my ruby necklace. I just did, I just made molten glass and then turned it into lantern lenses from 47 to 50. Did the step and got the casket, which is... Oh, boy. Let's see how fast I can drop this. Okay. I Do I need to do regicide to go here? No, I don't. Let's see if I can, let's see how far I can go in this, Master. So I thought I didn't need Regicide to get to Port Tyrus for this Master Clue, but I do. So I'm just gonna drop it. Bye. Eighth Casket coming in. Bando's Page, uh, it's a pretty useless book, but Purple Sweets and, and Alkable, pretty shit. Casket number nine. Ooh, a gothics page, lumberyard teleports, and then alcables. Yay. Alright, so I decided that I'm doing all these medium clues. I just I wanna build the stashes to store the items that I use for the clues, but I need 42 construction, which is like 5,000 XP away. So I'm gonna use the oak planks I got from all the eclectic implings to get level 42. There's 42 construction. I can now build... Well, it doesn't say, oh, there it is. I can now do medium stash units, so I can store the stuff that I use for these clues now. And here's my tenth ta casket. Ooh, an adamant, that's uh, uh, actually a shake. Casket number 11. Ooh, a stole, that'll be useful for when I, uh, I don't even know if it'll be useful ever. And bullshit. Casket number 12, bullshit. Casket number 13. Ooh. <sighs> Still sh Casket number 14. Ooh, another Zami page and a master. Let's see if I can actually do this one. I uh, probably won't drop this one. But do I already have this page? Which one do I have? Uh, I... Uh, Casket 16. Another Zami page, and this one's unique, but I got more fucking adamant shit. Look, this is my whole clue tab. Adamant, 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 adamant. Like, what is this? Half of my clue rewards are adamant stuff. But we got a new Zami page. Yeah. Casket 16. Uh, I don't think I had a green, green dehyde body, so that's... I did. Casket 17. Bub. 17. Like, like, what's with all these adamant items? Like, 
This is like Bodie with his fucking U comp bows or some shit. 19. Oh. Hold. Oh! Holy sandals. It could have been Ranger boots. But I got a blessing. What can I even do with these? I. I. Oh. 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 This could have been a ranger boots. They only. Oh, man. I've never even seen this item before. Wrong thing. I could have. <sighs> casket 20. Oh my. This is casket number 21. And. Ooh, a Gothic Smiter. Useless! And Elf Camp teleports. Forgot to record, but it doesn't matter anyway, cause it's shit. 23. Uh, another blessing. Oh, goody. Casket number 24. Uh, 25. Ooh, that's alright. Money, but the rest is trash. Oh, but I got an amulet of power to replace uh, one of the ones I used for a, a stash unit, so that's something. Casket 26, I think. Oh, another miter and lumberyard. Uh, okay. Number 27. Oh, oh. Another unique, which is useless, but a master. Can I do this one? Uh, am I missing something? Uh, I don't know what this is, so I'll... Okay, so I need to do, uh, Royal Trouble, which doesn't seem too bad, so I'm just, I'll just hold on. I'll just hold on to it, and maybe I'll get... Maybe I'll do it later. Okay, let's get 28. More fucking sh... Number 29. Uh, casket 30. Uh, oh, okay. Casket 30 is sh And this will be the last clue scroll of the Eclectics. As you can see, I've opened all of them. And I only have one left to do. And this is the last medium casket of the Eclectic grind. And of course, it's bull fucking shit. Really? So this is what the clue tab looks like afterwards. I got holy sandals, uh, a bunch of adamant shit, fire lighters, some prayer shit, two banners, four or five pages, two of which are zammy, so that's neat. And this is what I got from opening the implings. Uh, lanterns, snake grass, which would be good for Pair of potions, which I'll make right now. The van braces, adamant ore, watermelon seeds, unicorn horns, blue chaps, yeah, some construction XP. I might go do that right after I make the prayer potions. Curry leaf, uh, and plain jars. Yeah. So, was it worth grinding out a thousand eclectics? Yeah, but the rewards could have been better, and I think that cannoning guards at Falador would be better. <laughs>